Hi there, in this video I'm going to explain why requesting the MySQL database directly may be a bad idea. So uh, the typical use case is the following one. Let's imagine that uh, you would like uh, to not play with the UI of Matomo, but you would like to use like a data visualization software in order to extract data out of Matomo and you are not satisfied with uh, the API provided by, by Matomo. Uh, which is the one that I'm currently uh, showing you. So you are not happy with this. And um, you would like actually to uh, request directly the MySQL database that you can find um, over here in order to extract the data that uh, you are looking for. So uh, in fact, the big issue that you're gonna face is that uh, even if the Matomos documentation is really well done, they do not provide you with the full uh, database uh, schema or at least the data visualization of how uh, the database is organized at, le at least linked uh, within the table and the reason i guess is that it's uh, very very more complex than what uh, we we think it is and in order to illustrate this uh, what you can do is that uh, you can access to one of your file which is uh, the uh, slash etc mysql mysql conf uh, and mysql no sorry for that uh, you can access for this to the following file which is the uh, mysql.log that you will find within the slash var slash log slash mysql which in fact is telling you what are all the different requests which are made every time that you are requesting a given report uh, within Matto. So to make it as a, as a basic example, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select a given date. Um, first of all, I'm going to go in a, in a simple report. So I'm going to go on, um, on this uh, given report. As you can see, um, I have my, uh, my user ID over here. I'm going to just request it for, um, for another day. So uh, I'm going to request like the 24. Oh, I don't have any data. I'm going to request the 25, no, no data, neither. Um, maybe the 27th, nope, 26, no. Um, okay, I don't have any data for all those reports out. Uh, so let's, uh, okay, let's create one data then. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go uh, just uh, over here. And instead of uh, Ronan, I'm going to call it like Luke. Okay, like look like this. We'll know that those data are unique. I'm going to request it for the 1st of, of January like this. Okay, so now I get Luke and I get Ronan. And uh, when I access to this given report, so for the 1st of January, what it did is that actually it processed some, uh, some, some tables within the database and those are the request that you can see when you ask to display the MySQL. So if I do this, what you can see is that I made a given request for this uh, given period of time and that in terms of user ID, because this is the report that we requested, we are going to see that it's not just one simple MySQL request which have been made but really a set of different MySQL requests. So as you can see it's currently uh, 1226 so I guess my request has been made before all of this. I'm just gonna um, correct this so it was still this given time. Um, boom. Just gonna go above Okay, so you can see in fact the number of requests which have been made. So it's kind of it's kind of huge. Um, just gonna maybe select from here. Okay, so those are all the requests which have been made in fact to Matomo within a minute, and uh, we are gonna see which one are concerned about the user ID. So just gonna copy all that, all that out and let's put it here okay so this is my file and i can look for the user id wow as you can see uh, i have many times the word user id which have been used and probably the one that i have an interest in 
are starting, I don't even know when, right? You see, there are many times the uh, term user ID, which I've been used 21 times, and probably the one that I'm the most interested in are the last report, which have been generated, which could have been like, wow. Well, like this one okay um so as you can see it's kind of a mess i don't even know which uh, query i should call or is it a set of query or how many queries it is uh, i can of course always guess so i can always um, go for example at the bottom over here and just copy and paste this uh, given query in order to see uh, what will come out of it but i'm not even sure that is gonna um show me anything so you can go over here go on php my admin and i can click on uh, sql and i can just request it like this it's gonna work as you can see i'm getting some result but it's not exactly the one that i want in fact it's probably a set of several requests that i need to call in order to get exactly the same report as the one that i can see here so so to say if you would like actually to get exactly the same report like this one, thanks to the MySQL database, well, um, good luck, okay? Because <laughs> there are many, many requests which are called. It's far more complicated than what we think. Uh, you need to be a MySQL expert and you need, of course, to know the uh, MySQL database of Matomo in order to identify out of all those requests which are the set of requests which will give you the perfect uh, report. So that's exactly what I wanted to, to tell you is if you don't have the technical knowledge, if uh, you are uh, scared by, let's say, such as I do when I'm seeing all of this, you should not play with the database in order to uh, get some uh, MySQL requests to use it for data visualization and you should better use the API of Matomo and understand how that works in order to get um, clean data feed. Thanks for watching.